Resistance and revive your allies. Yo, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new Destiny video. Guiding Light here, back with another episode of Hidden Spots in the Destiny Crucible. So this time around, now that private matches are finally out, we are able to pretty much roam freely on all these maps for about as long as we want. And I was basically just waiting until these private matches came out so that I could finally show you guys some more of these hidden spots without having to worry about getting killed or without having to try to get the maps randomly in the Crucible playlist. So first off, we are here on the spot in Asylum. You just hop right on up onto these crates, and it's actually quite a good sniper spot. Now, if you want to take it a bit further, you can jump up to this next level right here. Now, if you see me hopping up, that's actually because I'm hitting the top of the map, and you can't get any higher than this. But on any one of these bars that you want, you can glide up over to one of these, and it's kind of easy to hop onto bars from once you're already up here. You can get on any of the bars that you want, but this is just the easiest one to get into. It's nice if you have a sword on you. I like the third person perspective. Anytime that I'm trying to get into spots, you can see a lot more. And I know it's easier for you guys to see where I'm jumping and just where I'm headed to because it's in third person. It's just a lot easier to see. So if you're ever in Crucible and want to get into these spots, you just try to have a sword on you and it makes things a lot easier. And you'll lower your chances of getting killed when you're actually in a real match. Now for the second spot, we're actually still on Asylum and we're just on the other side of the map getting into almost the exact same spot on the other side. You just hop over onto the staircase, you hop up on the railings, and then it's pretty easy from there. You can actually just glide up onto these bars as well. Pretty much any bar that looks like that on this map you can get onto. It's just a matter of where you have to jump from. Now for spot number three, you definitely do need to make sure that you have maximum agility on your character before even attempting this. I don't think you're going to be able to get in here unless you have absolute maximum agility. Now all you really need to do is just double jump up here and it's pretty easy. You can just glide up onto this railing over here. Now it does take me a few tries here in this video, but I'm sure you guys can do it a little bit easier once you realize where you're jumping. Now, I did get up here with a sword, but I don't think it's necessary. I just know it's a lot easier if you have one. With the heavy ammo already spawned in, you, it's pretty easy to just glide in. And you just kind of get the angle right when you're first jumping up, and you should be able to get up here quite easily. Now, I don't know if the hunters can get up here. This might be a titan and warlock only type of spot to get into, but this spot is freaking crazy, man. You can see above the entire map. I'm sure if I got up here in Rumble, no one would find me for a good, pretty good while. And even if they did, there's this like mini wall here where you can get behind here. And I'm pretty sure you wouldn't even really be able to take that many shots once you're up here because you've got this whole wall just blocking you. And this this would definitely make for a pretty ridiculous sniper spot in any sort of game mode at all. Especially in Rumble. There's my friend there trying to get up on his Titan, which is why I'm pretty sure you would definitely be able to get up here on a Titan. You just need to get the jump right. Now for spot number four, this spot's a bit more practical and you could actually use this in a real game. And I would imagine that it would actually help you and your team out quite well. Now, I do think it's pretty hard to get up here. You kind of have to, like, strafe jump up here. If you guys know that from Call of Duty, you got to, like, swing really far out, and then you can actually jump just a bit farther. Now, this spot's pretty crazy, especially in third person. If anyone was running over here, they would just be completely lost. They have no idea where you're at. And you can actually get up onto the left side and the right side. Well, you could probably have a good four or five teammates up here, and that would be pretty damn funny if someone dropped a super from up here, or if you, just, you tried to use your Nova Bomb or your Titan Smash, and you just slammed on the enemies above. I know for a fact that in Rift this would be a crazy spot because you could hover all the way down this hallway and then once the Rift spawns in right here, you can just drop your super on them and it would just completely throw them off guard. Now we've got one more spot here at spot number 5 on Vertigo. This isn't really much of a useful spot, but you can actually get up onto these lights and I thought it might be possible to get up onto this break over here, but unfortunately you cannot, but that would just be pretty damn crazy. Now this spot isn't really a, anything worth that much while, but it's kind of just like a little bonus I decided to throw in here just in case you guys ever needed to use it or just wanted to protect your heavy MR or something like that. This spot's actually pretty cool. You can get up onto the back of these lamps over here, and it's almost like you're hanging above the map, which is pretty crazy. And I'm sure a lot of people wouldn't be able to see you because the light is so bright that the glare would keep them from seeing your character just standing up there. So this spot's actually pretty cool. If you ever need to snipe down that middle lane, or if you ever want to just try to protect your rift or something like that, this is actually not that bad of a spot. If you have a sniper rifle, at least, this could be a pretty awesome spot to get into. And I'm sure it will help a couple of you guys out in Rift one day. So now we are on one of my personal favorites, Widow's Court. Now this map has an incredible amount of secret spots in it. Or not really secret spots, but just a lot of spots that people would probably not think to get into. The first one is right here in the spawn, and I've used this a few times in Trials of Osiris, and it's really caught people off guard because they were too busy looking at the ground, not expecting someone to just be hanging up here. But you can actually snipe right from here. Now, this isn't the only lamp that you can get onto, because you can actually get onto every single lamp that's on this map. There's somewhere between 15 and 25 lamps on this map that you can get onto, and each and every one of them adds a different and crazier sniper spot than the last. So there's actually a ton of sniper spots on this map that people don't even know about. And it's not that they're that, all that useful or anything like that, but they definitely are pretty cool spots. And I've used them a few times here in Trials of Osiris. Like, if it's the heavy round, I'll get up on one of these lamps sometimes, and I'll sniper across or just protect it, make sure that the enemy team doesn't see me. 
this is just one of the crazier spots because no one ever really thinks to look here and you wouldn't really ever think to either because no one ever gets up here and this is the right here this lamp right here is one of the best spots to be in on a heavy round everyone will be looking down at the ground everyone will be looking right what's below you and then you can you have a perfect view of their heavy ammo and it's a lot easier to kill them because you're above them already and it's just honestly one of the better spots to get into especially on heavy rounds or really just in any sort of elimination type game mode this spot is incredible. So here we are now on the other side of the map. There's a couple more lamps over here that you guys might not know about. But like I said, any lamp that you see, you can get on top of. So I don't want to waste time showing you guys every single lamp. But this is another one of those lamps that's actually pretty cool. And this one on the corner really throws people off guard a lot too. Because you have a lot of cover back here. And a lot of people will never see you for a good while. And you can snipe all the way across to the back alley. Back over by the broken apartment buildings. And that's why that spot is actually quite good. Because it gets you above the entire part of the map. It gives you a pretty good angle to see. Over, all the way over into the enemy spawn and as well all the way over into the enemy apartments which is a spot a lot of people do like to get into when it's Charles of Osiris. Now there's also this tank over here a lot of people don't know about this spot either but when you're just on the street you can't really see the apartments at all if you ever wanted to snipe somebody you would have to jump up and get some really lucky shot but there's actually just this one little part of the tank that you can get onto and that's what gives you just that a little bit of added height to see completely across the apartments and that's a, a spot that's really easy to get into. It doesn't take much time at all. Like getting on top of these lamps, are, they're a lot better, obviously, but they take a good amount of time to get into. So if you're in a rush or like it's Charles of Osiris and you're the last alive or something like that, you don't really have time to be getting into crazy spots. But that tank can help you out a, a lot because of the fact that it's just one little hop and you're up there. And you don't have to worry about getting sniped from across the map while you're floating in the air. Now for the final spot on Widow's Court. This is an absolutely pro spot and it... it doesn't have much use, but it, in a couple situations, I'm sure a lot of you guys will find this spot to be quite useful. Like, let's just say we're playing Elimination, right? And you've got a Blade Dancer chasing you down, you've got a Hammer Titan, any sort of super just following you. you if you ever jump out here, they're going to just assume that you died and turn around or do something stupid and maybe even follow you out there. But there's actually a little trick to this. If you jump out there fast enough, you don't need a sword or anything, but if you jump out here fast enough, you can loop around really fast and actually jump right back onto the map. So that definitely can be used as a little pro tip there if you guys, if you're ever playing Trials of Osiris. If you ever need to just jump off the map because of the supers there, you can actually just jump right back in. And I know for a fact that that can throw a lot of people off guard. I've done that one time against a Blade Dancer and they immediately had to send me hate mail after. So that is definitely one of the more pro spots, but it is a very great spot nonetheless. It just doesn't have very much use. Now this wouldn't be a hidden spots video without me showing you guys how to get into another tree. So here we are on Memento. Now this tree isn't exactly the easiest one to get into, but once you're up there, man, this could easily be a pretty crazy spot. Now it may require you to be invis once you're up there. I'm not, I wouldn't really suggest getting up here on a Warlock or a Titan or anything, but if you got up here on your Hunter, it would probably take a few tries, but if you did yet manage to get up here on a Hunter, go invisible or just grab your patience and time and just sit up there with a different character. There's a pretty cool spot that you can get up into this tree. Now, I was going to edit it so that it would just be me getting up there my first try, but I didn't think it would be fair because this was one of the harder spots to get into. And I wanted you guys to see just how many tries it takes because it's, it's, it's not an easy spot to get into, but you can actually get up on top of this tree right here. It's a lot easier to get up on some of the trees I showed you guys in the last video, which if you have not seen, I will leave a link to that in the description. There's a couple of crazy spots I showed you guys in that video, but here we are. We're finally up in the spot. This is why this spot's kind of crazy. You're completely at level with all the people on both balconies, so if you are with a decent team and you've got people spawn trapped, or there's just a lot of people over coming onto these balconies, because I know this is one of the higher traffic areas on this map when you're playing Crucible, they're never going to think to look here. Now, if you're already aimed on your sight, they might see the red light, and then you might get thrown off a little bit. But if you're up here with a green shader, or like I said, with patience and time invisible, it's pretty hard to get you killed once you're up here. And the only thing you really have to worry about is a sniper, because anything else you can just jump down real quick, and you probably won't die, but you just won't be up here anymore. Now there is actually another way to get up into this tree that may be a little easier for certain people or just certain characters. If you're up on this ledge over here or you're already up on the side, it's pretty easy. You can actually just jump right up onto the tree and then you're pretty much good to go. And it's a little bit easier that way because you don't have to glide and you don't have to worry about getting picked off while you're trying to glide up there. So hopefully you guys did learn a new spot in the Destiny PvP today in this video. So if you did, be sure to drop a like down below. And let me know if you guys used any of these spots to your advantages to get any crazy kills or anything like that. That'd be really cool down in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.